Hi everyone. I've been asked if I can demonstrate how to produce the Formula One baseline background that I used in one of my previous videos. And I'm going to do that in Magix using the instruments. When you start Magix, you've usually got this screen presented to you. What we're going to do is create a new project and just click on OK. This is quite a standard start for Magix, but instead of using the loops and the sound pools here, I'm going to click on the instruments, like so. And down the bottom, depending on where the, they are, I'm going to use the Vita synthesizer at the bottom here. And if you click on this arrow, it will add the instrument to the project. Click on that. What this does is brings up the Vita synthesizer. This is used for producing various instruments in Magix. What it also does is puts a default track in the first available MIDI recording track. You can highlight that and just delete it. We don't need that. As a default, it's using the acoustic piano as seen here. And if you click on this keyboard, that's the acoustic piano. What I'm going to do is to drop down this menu and I'm going to go to electric bases and I'm going to select delay bass. There we go. And now we have a, a bass note. What I'm going to do is to reduce the amount of playtime from 16 bars down to 4 bars. Like so. This is the virtual MIDI keyboard and you can play these if you wish. And this is what you need to play to record MIDI. It's no good playing this keyboard because it won't record that. It will only record this virtual keyboard. But what we need to do is to scroll to the left slightly because I need C1 and A1 and that is the note I'm going to use and all I'm going to do is start recording I'm going to put the metronome on so that we can actually get a, some kind of beat to work to if you tap the space bar you'll hear the metronome like so and I'm also going to change the tempo here from 120 beats per minute click and drag to 140 and now you can see it's 140 and what I'm going to do is click on the record button but I'm only going to play one note and that is this note here but I'm going to let it record all four bars and then stop it at the end of the four bars so let's start recording that Press that note, let it run to the four bars, and stop that. We've now got an object here that's four bars long, and there is the note that I play, that tiny little black speck there. If we now click on the Inspector tab at the bottom here, this is that object. Let's just move this synthesizer out of the way. In actual fact, sometimes it's better to put it there because you'll be able to see what's happening. So this is the object, which is four bars long, from 1-1 one, one to 4-4. Four, four. And here is that one note that I played. And that was played on A1, which is uh, this note here. That's A1, that's C1, and A1. All I'm going to do is drag this, hover over the center of it until you get the double vertical and horizontal arrow, click and drag it, to the start of that note. Make sure it stays on A1, and as you move it up and down, if you notice on the synthesizer, the Vita synthesizer, you can see that it changes the note on the keyboard here, which is quite helpful. What I'm going to do is to extend this now by clicking on the right-hand side of that uh, object, and I'm going to click and drag it to the end of 1-3. There we go. What happens when you open the inspector? It splits each beat into eight notes, or eighth notes, or quavers, which are these lines here that you can see, and then you've got the beat here. One, two, three, four. What I'm going to do now 
is to copy this note, click on the centre, hold the control key down, click and drag and just copy it to the end of that same note, like so. And I'm going to shorten this to four quavers there. What I'm going to do now is to copy that, hold the control key down and I'm going to take this up to B1 which is there as you look at the keyboard that's B1 and I'm going to overlap that one and I'm going to copy it again to C2 if you notice you can go up and down here there's C2 and I'm going to extend that one because that note needs to be a little bit longer if you tap the space bar you can play this at any point so let's just play that and we'll stop that and then I want another B1 so I'll just copy this one hold the control key down and copy it to the end of that one and I'm going to copy that again to A1 there if you notice these dark bands here are the black notes and the grey ones are the white notes corresponding to the keyboard here. So we've now got one on A1 and I'm going to copy that then to G1. Yeah. And I'm going to copy another A1. Yeah. And you can keep playing this, tap spacebar. Oh, we seem to have gone wrong. We need this one lifting slightly, and this one needs to come down. And just keep playing it. And I'm going to copy this one now. Hold the control key down and copy that and I'm going to extend that one a little bit because that needs to be a little bit of a longer note and I'm going to copy this original A1 from here over to there let's just play that and I'm going to drop this one down now to D1 and if you look at the keyboard there's D1 and it is shown on the keyboard here. When you click it, you can see it there. And I'm going to extend this one to four, three and a half beats there. And what I'm going to do now is copy another, where are we? Uh, it doesn't matter which one you copy. Hover over the center of it, hold the control key down, click and drag and copy. It. And I'm going to copy this one now to D1 again. My mistake there. <laughs> I do apologise for that. And I'm going to copy that one again to give me a, a double beat at the end. So I've got this note and then I've got two more notes of the same uh, pitch. And the last one I'm going to do, I'm going to copy this then to G1. Hold the control key down, take it up to G1 there and put that on the end. Now let's click away. Now let's play that. And we'll stop that. We'll move the Vita synthesizer out of the way. And this is now the object that we've just generated here. So from that one single note at the start, we now have an object of four bars long that is the starting beat of the Formula One bass line. We can change back to the keyboard here and we can click into this play area and play that. And it repeats. Let's turn the metronome off. And we can shut down the Vita synthesizer and we'll play it one last time. <laughs> 